Okay, today we're rigging the swimming shad lure. Swimming shad lure's got a um, concave swimming head and the toe point tube. Uh, the concave swimming head uh, wiggles, makes the lure wiggle like anything, makes it swim like a real fish. Uh, the tape point tube of course is where your leader material will go through. Alright, so let's rig this thing up. So get your get your leader material and the swimming shed lure. I'm using a heavy gauge 10 hook here. We'll use that in a minute. Now they are rigged a little bit differently to the normal soft plastics. Um, simply put the leader material through the Tape point tube, just like that, and tie your hook on like you'd normally tie a hook on. Um, and I like to use a knot that's like a, a non slip blood knot. So I go straight through the eye once, back around again, straight through a second time, so it forms. A loop like that. Hold on to the loop. You could probably go through again, but I find uh, just the, the one loop there will, will going through twice will make it non-slip. Then just twist your tag end up the main line a few times, four or five times. So you need, especially with heavy line, you only need a few times. Too much, too much will spoil the knot. This is six kilo line, so it's not too heavy and back through both loops that are formed. Just pull the knot down. And with the swimming shed lure you don't need a swimming knot, you don't need a loop. Just a tight knot like that. And that won't slip as you can see, it just does not slip at all. Right, trim the tag end. Right, and what we should have at this stage, as you can see, is the swimming shad lure with a 1 0 hook sitting just under it like that. Now, you can actually fish it like that, um, but the, and the weight of the hook will keep the lure generally in, in position. But there's another trick to rigging these things up that is the pelvic fin here is quite a thick lump of plastic and that's actually the hook holder where you can put your hook so take your hook now the eye of the hook should rest against the bottom of the uh, tape on tube here so just see where your hooks gonna go through about there. just get it through that pelvic fin region Generally you do put it in at a little bit of an angle. It's sort of come out okay like that. And there we go. One rigged swimming shad lure. So litre material comes out the tape point tube and you've got your in position underneath and when that goes through the water the swimming head of the, the lure makes it wiggle. Okay there's another way you can rig these as well um, that's obviously if you throw that into snaggy areas it's going to get snagged up pretty well reasonably probably quickly um, even though when when the head of the lure goes through the water it does it does sort of bend down a little and sort of causes a, a bit of a weed guard happening there so it can be reasonably weedless, just like that. But to make it absolutely weedless, just, you're probably wondering what this little thing is in the front, why that hasn't been trimmed off. You can actually trim it off if you don't like it. But you can actually rig your hook through there and make it totally weedless. So, same deal. Straight through. Again, 
right the way to the hooks underneath. As you can see the hooks pointing backwards. Uh, looks a bit unusual, a bit un unconventional, but this actually works. It's uh, totally weedless. Um, the, uh, when fish take a bait, they'll take it head first anyway. So the hook's actually in the right position when a, when a fish comes to grab this. So you, you set the hook and the hook will, hook will set without any worries anyway. And that's the weedless rig, the swimming shad lure. Alright, the uh, swimming shad lure um, has got enough weight to get some pretty decent casts off. Um, but if you do need to introduce a bit more weight, if you're fishing it in current areas, areas with a lot of current, or you need to get down to a fair depth, you can add weight to it. So I'll show you how that's rigged with weight. And as you can see, I've just got the standard rig here. You can do it weedlessly too, of course. Um, and all you do is introduce a ball sinker, ball sinker between the bottom of the tow point tube and the eye of the hook, simple as that, and that adds extra weight. I don't recommend adding too much weight to it because of course that will drag the head, head down and you might as well just use a standard old um, jig head for that uh, where things are just bobbing up and down, you know, like people are throwing rocks in the water. Um, the whole idea of the swimming shad lure is that it is neutrally balanced in the water. Uh, so I'd use this rig it's only quite a small ball sinker there, as you can see, probably a double O. I'd use this rig as a vertical jig, maybe for yellow belly or a bass, or maybe out on a shallow reef with a snapper, and you know, going down say 10, 20 metres when you need to you know, have a little bit more of a drop on it. And you can use that as a vertical jig. These, these uh, lures make fantastic vertical jigs. So you can just drop it down to the bottom and jig it up and it, and it wiggles like anything just jigging up just just a foot or two each each time let it drop back down jig it back up. So that's the weighted weighted rig. Alright you can also rig the swimming shad lure with a treble hook if you want. You can just leave it hang like that and that works perfectly fine. Um, you can, if you want it stabilised a little bit more, uh, you can just simply just put one of the hook points into the hook holder area there, and there it is, hooked with a treble, just in case you've got fish that uh, aren't getting hooked on the single hook. Uh, that's pretty rare. Um, I very rarely use a treble. Alright, but if you, some fishermen like trebles, there you go. Treble, same way. Hook, rig the same way.